Hey everyone, hope you had a nice weekend. I wanted to make sure that I posted the next video for this week's lessons. We are into another chapter. Again, it is a review chapter, but it is a really good one to review because again, there's still a lot of skills that we need to continue to work on, especially next week when we start moving on. So for today, we're gonna to be learning about how to write fractions as decimals, as well as writing decimals as fractions. And we've covered this quite a bit, but we wanted to make sure that we reviewed it so that when we get into the next lessons, you will feel more comfortable with it. Remember that sometimes we're gonna see decimals that are repeating decimals, which then you may need some bar notation, whereas other times you will have terminating decimals, which means that they stop and they don't continue with the same number. So let's look at this first one. Write 74 hundredths as a decimal. Well, as you heard me say it, I said 74 hundredths. When you think about it as a, de as a decimal, that means that it's two places after the decimal point. So the first step is use place value. And if you do that, in this case, because it is over 100 right now, you can easily change it into that decimal. So it would be instead of 74 hundredths as a fraction, it would be 0 0.74, or again, 74 hundredths if you read it because the four is in the hundredths place. So we could say that 74 hundredths is equal to 74 hundredths. Now what if we have a decimal that doesn't have 10 or 100 at the bottom with your fraction? Well, that's a little bit different. You first are going to need to change your denominator if you can, into 100. In this case, we can because we know that 20 can go into 100 evenly five times. So whatever you do to the bottom, so 20 times five equals 100, you have to do the same to the top. Seven times five equals 35. Once you change that, you can now see that it's just like the one from before. So if you say it as a fraction, it'll help you a lot easier when you actually write it as a decimal. Seven twentieths is equal to 35 hundredths. Okay, what if you have one that is a mixed number? So this one is asking you to write five and three fourths as a decimal. In this case, think of it as if you're adding them together, your whole number plus your fraction. So five and three fourths is the same as saying five plus three fourths. So you really just need to figure out what the actual place value is um, and decimal uh, form of three fourths. And if you do that, you would get, think of it as three quarters. You could say this is three quarters, which is the same as saying 75 hundredths. If you think of it as money, it's 75 cents. And you would get five and 75 hundredths. If this is difficult for you to do in your head, knowing that three fourths is the same as saying 75 hundredths, you could actually then check to see how many times does four go into 100. And if you were to actually multiply it, you would see 25 times four, pardon my messiness, but five times four is 20, so you bring down that zero and then carry the two. And then eight times, or four times two is equal to eight plus two is equal to 10. My bad. That really doesn't look that great. Sorry, guys. But once you finish that, then you would be able to see that 5 and 3 fourths is equal to 5 and 75 hundredths. All right. What happens, though, if you have a denominator that does not go evenly into 100? In this case, you will need to divide your numerator divided by your denominator. So remember, we said before, when you think of division, 3 divided by 8, it's the same as saying this as a fraction, 3 eighths. So when you actually set it up, you put 3 inside of the bracket and 8 on the outside. But because 8 doesn't go into 3 evenly, obviously, you have to add your 3 zeros and then keep on dividing. So when you finish that, you would get 0 0.375, or if you say it as a mathematician, 375 thousandths. So three eighths is equal to 375 thousandths. Same with this one. You want to make sure that you have to change this one again. So you're going to divide and you would get 25 thousandths. All right, guys, good luck.